So it's making some room on my uh, my bench out in the garage, and uh, I ran across this, which I thought was uh, kind of tied into the TTL CPU. This is a TTL clock, so it's a it's a Nixie tube clock, but um, instead of being driven by some kind of clock chip or a microprocessor or anything like that. It's, it uses just standard uh, TTL parts. And in fact, um, the design of this board came from an app note that Texas Instrument wrote, uh, trying to say, hey, look at our clever parts. We have all these parts to do all these different things, and look, you could build a clock. Um, so uh, it has a bunch of, um, well, first of all, uh, let's talk about the power. Uh, it requires a, a transformer. Um, and the reason it requires a transformer is, of course, there was no switching power supplies back then, but the clock needs a uh, time base. And the time base is actually 60 hertz provided uh, by the power company. Uh, 60 hertz is highly regulated at the power company, and it, it is made to be very accurate. They speed it up and slow it down, and they make sure that the time stays constant over some length of time. And so you can count on... Uh, count on that 60 hertz being 60 hertz and uh, it comes into this uh, circuit and gets digitized and turns into a clock so uh, so the transformer does two things it, it provides the power for the device it also provides the clock for the device um, so uh, there is a uh, bridge rectifier some capacitors and a 7805 5 volt regulator so uh, it all runs on 5 volts of course because it's all TTL um, and then, uh, of course, the Nixie tubes need a very high voltage. So the one thing that's more modern about this design is uh, the switching. Uh, uh, it's not really a switcher. It's it's a it's a uh, um, uh, it kick, kicks the voltage up, right? So it's just a um, uh, flyback, uh, and it is actually a transformer. So it's not. Um, doing anything too fancy, it's just transforming it up to a high voltage and um, uh, that provides 180 volts. Uh, so 180 volts to run the uh, Nixties in a very low current so you can get away with such a little circuit. So the original board uh, called out a particular high voltage uh, supply and uh, I couldn't find those or uh, I couldn't find those at a price that I was willing to pay. I did find this little guy here, and it's just 5 volts in, 180 volts out, um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. And what else does it do? It has some switches to set the time, um, has some, uh, uh, I don't think you can see it over there, um, let's see here, can I zoom in a bit more, just a little bit more, there's a couple uh, neon tubes here, um, that tell you whether you're AM or PM, um, and it is a, a six-digit uh, six-digit clock. So these are seconds, minutes, and hours. Uh, so let's go ahead and power it up. Uh, it does require 110 volts, of course. Um, so let me see if I can find that. And oops, of course things are tangled because my bench isn't clean yet. That's why I was trying to get rid of this thing. Um, okay, I need to reach over the camera, turn the power on the bench. Okay, and turn this on. There we go. Uh, so, let me turn off the overhead light so you can see the Nixies. There we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, just a little bit of light so we can see everything, okay. Um, so, um, the way the circuit works is uh, 60 hertz comes in, then it gets divided down, gets divided down, gets divided down. And then, uh, so there's, a, there's a, a bunch of decade counters and six digit counters and they're, you know, w one of six counters and things like that in here. And then uh, there's a bunch of Nixie drivers, and so uh, Texas Instrument used to build Nixie drivers because people used a lot of Nixies, and guess what? You can't buy them anymore, or if you can't find them, they're way too expensive. Luckily, 
once again Russians to the to the rescue. The Russians had used Nixies for a very long time and they had a a, a pin replacement part uh, for Nixie drivers. They're just a uh, high voltage Darlington uh, transistor. But uh, I was able to get these Nixie drivers from uh, somebody over in Croatia or something and um, pop those in there. So let's see if we can't uh, you have to be very careful where you touch this board because you can shock yourself. Uh, so let me see if I can maybe kind of move this up a bit so so we can see it better. That's a little bit better. Okay. So there is a, a halt button. So uh, we did halt. Uh, there is a, a hours, minutes, and seconds. So we can set the hours. Let's see here. Let's um, figure out what time it is. It's currently 6.27 p.m. So let's put it on hours. And then we'll do step. There we go. Four or five. Uh, there we go. Six. Twenty-seven. So now... Uh, we go to the tens digit in minutes, and we can clock that. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, no, went too far. Shoot. Six. Uh, I gotta go all the way around. Oh, no. Okay, two. There. Now I gotta go back to the tens. Uh, wow. I don't remember how this works. Uh, I, don't, I think my switches are are bouncing, so it's not it's not helping. There we go. Six. Twenty. Seven, ah, close enough. We'll let it run there. This is AM, but I'm not going to go all the way around. We'll just let it run here. There we go. So we have the correct time. Take that up a bit. Find something a little higher. That's better. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, I bought this PC board off of a guy on eBay uh, a couple of years ago. And um, he sells, you have to buy two boards. I don't know why, he sells them two at a time. Uh, so, um, it is a bit tricky finding all the parts. Um, of course, you have to buy some Nixie tubes. So those are pretty easy to get these days at pretty reasonable prices. Um, and you do have to get the Nixie tube driver chips, which I said you'd have to find the Russian equivalent. And then everything else is just normal. 74 LS, 7400 type devices. <clears throat> uh, do you need to find little switches that fit? Otherwise, that's a pretty cool little circuit. And once again, completely TTL, nothing strange going on. Uh, very old school. Um, yeah, pretty cool. One, um, one more thing before I uh, end the video. You might notice that the uh, the five digits are upside down two digits. So the Russians were a bit lazy, and instead of creating a um, uh, a mask that's more more like a five, they just said, "Oh, we'll just use the uh, the two upside down," and uh, just save them some tooling. That works just fine. Um, so anyway, you know you've got Russian tubes if the uh, if the if the five and the two look a bit strange. I guess the five looks. I guess the five looks right. It's the. Yeah, the five looks correct. It's the two that's a bit funny, I think. Anyway.